New Zealand women pulled off a thriller to win the second T20 international against the West Indies women by six wickets, with one ball remaining, at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua and Barbuda. Batting first, the West Indies posted 107 for five from their 20 overs. Kishona Knight and Chinel Henry struck a 31-run partnership when the Maroon Warriors needed it the most. Knight fell eight runs short of a half-century, she made 42, which included five fours. Chinel Henry got the West Indies to triple figures with a blistering 18 runs from the last over, before being bowled by Haley Jensen for 24, a knock which included two fours and one six. Jensen was the pick of the bowlers for New Zealand, finishing with figures of three for 24 off four overs, followed by Eden Carson with two for 12 off four overs. An unbeaten 54 from Susie Bates and 21 from Amelia Kerr had New Zealand set for victory, but two wickets from Cherry Ann Fraser in the 18th overs swung the match back in the West Indies' favour. However, Lauren Down 9 and Georgia Plimmer 7 not out took New Zealand to victory with one ball to spare. Fraser had the best bowling figures, finishing with 1 for 13 of 2.5 overs followed by Karishma Ramharak 1 for 23 off 4 overs. Kishona Knight speaking after the match said, I got a promotion to bat at, number, 3, so my role was to bat as deep as possible. My plan was to back myself and to rotate the strike for the hitters and help get the team to a decent total. It was extremely hot there today, probably one of the hottest we've experienced so far, and the ball was holding on the pitch more than usual, so that made batting a bit tricky. We're looking forward to regrouping and coming back tomorrow for the third match. Both teams will meet on Sunday, October 2nd for the third T20I in the five-match series. First ball is at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Caribbean or 12.30 p.m. Jamaica time.